Trinity Designer Beginners Tutorials Lesson 8 The Place Image Tool. What we're going to learn about on this lesson is 1. Finding an image using the tool and adjusting its size. 2. How to cut pieces of an image out. 3. Using the contour tool on an image. 4. Using the gradient fill tool with images. And 5. Using the transparency tool with images. Hello, this is Tony Tony's Music and the Administrator of Doodle and Tony PNGs. Welcome to Affinity Designers Beginners Tutorials Lesson 8. And I'm going to start off with a new document, A4 and Landscape. And I'm going to create that. Go straight over to my toolbars over this left hand side and left click on the Place Image Tool, which brings up an Explorer window. So you can look through your PC for things like pictures or uh, JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs and a lot of other things that are on here if I'll show you that there you've got raster images and WMFs, Metafiles, um, Windows BMPs, uh, TIFFs as well so there's quite a few different choices there I'm just going to pick a, a JPEG at the moment and that's just a landscape picture there which I've, I've put on and what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to put a, a shape on it so you wanted to cut that shape out or say you want to put some words underneath for example so I'll put down this music or something I'm sure that's quite a bit bigger I might have to change the size of that to knock it down a bit so we, I can either go to the font and up the front down to a smaller size somewhere somewhere about there that'd be fine right and in fact I could uh, use the move tool to make it slightly bigger if I wanted to like that as well right so that's the two choices there you got to do in that now say um, you wanted to take them off the main image right so I've Okay, so what you'd normally do would be to select the lot and then go to subtract. But on this occasion it doesn't work. So what do you do? Right now, because it's an image tool, it doesn't work with image tools anyway. So what you need to do is undo subtract, first of all. Then you need to add another shape, whatever shape you want. It doesn't have to be a rectangular shape and make that to an appropriate size to what your actual picture is if you want and it doesn't have to be dead on because you can adjust the picture after if need be right so as you can see I mean it should pull that up that way a bit so you can see there's a bit of a gap there right now if I pull it too far out of that it's going to be too wide isn't it right so there you go right now if I pull that too far then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the JPEG image onto the rectangle that I've just added and as you can see yeah, it's, it's too too big for that picture but if you click on this arrow on the right hand side on the layers where it's showing uh, an arrow there that means it's a master file of a, a child layer there it's got a master layer and a child layer right the child layer is still the picture so you can adjust that picture up to where the rectangle is but anywhere out of that is it's being masked so you can go like that but you'll mask or lose the picture when you pull it further so that'll do because you can do it a little bit out if you want and it won't hurt because you've still got all the picture on the shape right that you want so you can adjust it according to what you want but you won't get any odd bits on the end if you do that slightly over right if you do it slightly over on all sides that looks pretty good right now uh, what we do then is because we've got that like that do not try taking those two off the child layer because obviously that's still the image layer right you need to take them off the rectangle but the rectangle needs to be underneath because you don't take the rectangle off them you take them off the rectangle so they've got to be on the higher layers obviously so what you need to do then is select them all
And before I select them all, what I'm going to do, well, I've selected them all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy them first. So I'll get a, a double of it, right? So copy. And then um, I won't paste it till after I've already cut these. So let's just cut them off. And there you go, right? Now I'm going to do the other copy here. Paste it. So bring it over. Now if I, I show you that these are uh, actual holes here by going over this one, one minute, let's do arrange, move to front and put that on top, you'll see, you can see the other one through it like that, right? Okay, so that you know that's a hole, right? Um, as well as that, if say you wanted to keep what was there as well so you could like, use it as like a jigsaw puzzle maybe to do that you would have to get the um, same again where is it this one right you need to do this what is that on there that's that one I that one's the old oh. I'm just gonna just do that so that I oh know it's that one Right, so that's the old one, and this one. Oh yeah, that one. I don't know why that's done that. Oh yeah, it's because it's in a rectangle. You don't need the rectangle for that one, so just take that one off, delete that. Right, now you got with this one because you don't need the rectangle for this one because all you're going to do is use the picture and make it a tall layer of both of those. So what you need to do is just drag the picture onto the rectangle so it's in there right then you're going to use that image again and you're going to copy that and paste it right so we get the other one and drag it onto the lettering the text i mean right i always say that i don't know why i always say that so now you've got the text so you can fit that in there if you wanted to and the rectangle to fit there if you need to so you got like a jigsaw puzzle now right there is another way of doing it but if you try it the other way which I'm going to show you in a minute it doesn't work like that so oh, let me show you let's get rid of that there's another way of making jigsaws but if you do it the way I was going to know that way like if you do it, if you try doing that sort of thing it don't work that way let me get that on again right so now say you want to take these off and do a, another one There is, there is a different way of doing it but it doesn't work like that with this so let me just show you that because normally you could use this method for doing shapes and making um, jigsaw puzzles however with this you can't do it for some reason because it's probably because it's the image tool that's being put on and that as well I suppose let's just put that on it as well just in case might do it that way I don't think it will but we can try it anyway and I'm just going to put that on there right and then I'm going to put that underneath them right what ah. okay so that's where we was before now if we go select all of them usually you should be able to do this and it divides all the parts right now if we do that with this one obviously it doesn't work it isn't working right right so you can get that off and that's what happens you get a mixed up a mixed view of what's going on it doesn't work the same as if it was um, the different shapes for some reason i don't know why it doesn't work like that but let me show you what i mean so you got a shape then you got another shape or a circle now um hang on a minute i've just done that i want to change the colors so you got that red got this 
blue. So you've got that shape there, and that's going to be yellow. Right now, say, deflect all of them and use that shape. Now, if you do this, you take, it, take the parts off, you get the separate pieces, like that, with that, so you can you can make a proper jigsaw with that. Right? So, that would be a different way of doing it, but you can't do it with the pictures for some reason, it just doesn't work with them. Right, so, just want to show you that, so you know it doesn't work like that. Right, so, um, with the pictures, you have to do it the way I showed you before. Um, you can do all sorts of things with the pictures as well, like, let's get contour tool, no, not contour tool, that's the contour tool. You can use the contour tool and make it rounded, but obviously the edges are going to be all scattered funny, like that, so you could do it a little bit, so it's just got a border on it a little bit, so that'd be alright. Um, I mean you can use a different different image on it, like, a, like the, like the uh, star, and obviously with it being like that you could use the rounded tool. Um, and or whatever you can push it up like that put that on there like that and then let's make that wider a bit bigger so it covers it like that right now if you've done this and then put that on top and then cut the star out so we do cut the star out and then put the contour tool on cut the star out now put the contour tool on we can do that and that's what happens you get the star becomes a rounded star as well right obviously with the star it goes a different way to the rest of it you can say one goes bigger, one goes smaller. So that's a nice effect you can use on it. Right, um, let's take that off and start again. Cut all, um, delete all that, let me. Delete all that. And get an image again. Doesn't matter whether it's a different image, does it? Alright, we'll just use that one. Right, next you can use the gradient tool. So you can change the colour of whatever the picture looks like and add different things to it, different gradients to it in different places to get a, a funny you. And you can adjust that about if you wish. Intensify it in places where need be. Or whatever, you could do that. To give yourself a different look for the image you got, or just cause it to have a rainbow one effect, maybe. You know, something like that. Um, there is using someone else as well. Wait a minute, let's get on to the next bit. If I can, got to take all that off. I want to get it back to the normal. This is why I'll just start again, usually. Because it takes so much to undo it if you want to try undoing it. Uh -uh. Right, now, the next one is a transparency tool. You can use a transparency tool as well. So, and the transparency tool is much better to use for specific areas than using the opacity. Because the opacity will... Um, work on the whole picture whereas this works on a particular piece like that. you can get it right down to the corner like that or you can change it around whichever way you want like that. you can also add um, extra parts to it like 
click on there or click on this side and that side you can check there so you've got a transparency there and then you bring that transparency across a bit so it looks like a fog or something or like the sun shines brighter there and lesser there or something you could do that if you wished but you got to remember this end point that's where all the brightness is on that side as well so you want to take that down there and then add uh, two or three brighter spots you can intensify it by bringing it sharper in like that and I'll intensify that bit and then do it again here somewhere and take that over like that right and um, if you need another one of these you need to be on this side to do it and just do that and then bring that across like that so you make it stronger on the one side like that so you can adjust it really quite well using the slides as well you know so like that and the slide there nice so that's a lot of things you can do with it anyway and obviously you can use the, con the um, crop tool to crop the item excuse me sorry about that I've got a fever so that's uh, causing me a bit of problems at the moment with the heat and that going about but there's a lot of things you can do with this at all it's a reasonably good tool uh, play about with it see what you like about it if there's anything that I haven't explained or something please get back in touch with me on either doodle internally pngs or on my youtube channel i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and i hope to see you on the next one please keep safe and stay well and look after yourselves thank you very much for joining me on this tutorial i've enjoyed doing it for you and i hope you enjoyed it too thank you bye